In this video, I'm going to explain the work we all have to do, the various levels of trauma that impact every aspect of our lives in terms of what we want to do with our lives, the goals we have, relationships we have, and ultimately the quality that our lives are going to be. So stay with me and we're going to talk about trauma and inner integration after trauma. You know, after years of studying, trying to figure out why people are unhappy, this is as close to an explanation I can give that I've come across that explains the work that is needed by all of us. So what we're going to talk about is trauma. We're talking about here a route to genuine happiness because that's what we all want, right? It's what we all want in life. Now, when we're kids, when we're born, we're gen genuinely, we can find genuine happiness in things. And at this point, we just were born, we have our personality. You're born with a personality, okay? Regardless of the nature versus nurture debate, we have an inherent personality. And we have a question. We're born as the I am, okay? I am dot 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 to be continued. Now we're just an I am at that point, so which is why when we're small children, infants, toddlers, we get joy in the silliest of things. Okay, we can take joy in almost anything. Genuine joy, genuine pleasure, genuine happiness. At this point, we're integrated. Okay, there's no conflict within ourselves when we're children. What happens, of course, is various types of trauma come in at some point in our lives. And that could be anything. I have a, a few written down here. First of all, what is a trauma? It's basically a stress that you experience as a child, as a young person, that cannot be resolved. Maybe because you don't understand it, you don't have anyone to go to to talk about your feelings, or if you do, you're told to be quiet about it not to talk about it. So there's no understanding that comes from having experienced a trauma. So it's a trauma. It's an injury, in other words. Traumas, we probably all know these. These things could be abuse. It could be some kind of an accident. Maybe a family member goes through a terrible accident. Bullying, neglect in childhood, being judged, family poverty, an illness, jealousy. Okay, jealous, jealousy of the attention that a sibling gets, okay? be any of those things that comes in here okay now the problem with this is it is an injury and it becomes a trauma if it isn't resolved so it stays with us the injury stays now this leads us to our second step okay that leads us to the injury is there so it's kind of a break that happens in the person right and this side is carrying the injury this is the, the hurt part. So I want you to think of that part as the injured self. Hurt or injured. And this side, which pretends like it's fine, becomes the defender. Or the cooper, you could say. Pen is running a little low. But the point is, we get split in to different parts. Now, there could be many different parts, but two parts is enough, especially for the purposes of this conversation. So, when we look at this part of ourselves, this is, you could, another word for this might be the shadow self. This could be the persona, the one that we are drawn towards, the defender, okay, the strong one. The injured one, what are the features of the injured one? It's weak, it's vulnerable, feels like it's all by itself, it's alone and isolated, it's chaotic, it's ashamed, it feels unworthy, it feels completely stuck. And of course the problem with that is the more we neglect it and ignore it, it we, we actually feed it with that suppression. Suppression of that side of ourselves is an energy and we keep pumping that energy into it, which means it, it sustains it, okay? So this is the injured self. It's weak, vulnerable, and all those things. Feels like it's alone. When you're talking about the defender, 
I've thought of a few examples or ways to understand that. It's tough, it can be aggressive, it's very independent, maybe because of neglect early in childhood, for, in for instance. It's very controlling, it's self-centered, it can be very charming. Um, it could be, this defender could become a workaholic, for instance, okay, because that's how it takes charge of things. Um, Sub-personalities develop out of this. These are little kind of ways of being that we get into as the defender. One might be, let's say someone lives in poverty as a child. That's their trauma. They become a thief. Thieving or robbing or stealing is a way, a sub-personality that they develop as a, the defender. A person might who didn't get enough attention in childhood or they were always made to feel that their self-worth was tied up in their ac academic achievements, for instance. They would become the academic sub-personality. Someone might become a sporty person. Somebody might be a seductive person, a, so a seducer, uses sexuality as a, as a means to cope. So those are all the things that are there. Now, what are the the problem is originally where the I am, I am whatever I want, or I just I am, I am in a state of being. Now we become I am alone, I am hurt, I am injured, I am afraid, I am anxious, and I am the defender, okay? I am strong, I am aggressive, I am uh, controlling, I am independent, fiercely independent. The problem with it, of course, is that there's a split down the middle of us, so we're actually not fully who we are. We're in conflict, right? Now, what is life like when we live like this? How do we, what's our emotional reality of this like? Well, first thing is, it is painful to live like this. It's emotionally painful. It's numb. So if you've ever felt that you're numb in your life, there's something like this probably going on. You feel unsure about things because you don't know which voice is coming in robotic, you feel fake, you're in conflict all the time, maybe sickness comes in, you find yourself getting sick and you have a sense that it's to do with a psychological issue, feeling stressed all the time, okay? So the point of all this is how do we start to rehabilitate this? How do we reintegrate? Now we're not going to be children ever again, but what we want to be is like the child once again, fully integrated. In fact, what we are then is aware of I am the I am. Okay, we become self-aware more so than when we were children. Once we go through this process of inner integration. Okay, now what does this part, in order to bring this about, we need to start a dialogue between this, which is by don't make any mistake about it, you. You are the defender. Okay, that's the personality that we all tend to gravitate towards, okay? And the injured part of the self. Now, let's say we were to check in and interview both sides to see what's going on within a person who is carrying a trauma like this. What would the conversation be like? If you consult the injured part, they're gonna say, please listen to me for a change, okay? Because we completely put them in the dark, okay? They feel ignored, they don't feel heard at all. They have no sense of autonomy or control. They also say, if they were to talk to the defender, they would say, if you don't listen to me, I'm gonna hold us back. I'm gonna make sure that we don't go forward in life, right? So the defender over here says, you, are so weak. Why would I ever listen to you? You deserve to be ignored. Okay, I'm in charge here. Um, so they're in charge of maintaining the comfort zone that they've reached. Okay, they are the strong ones and this is the weak one. So you'll see at that point that there's no sort of, it's an impasse. This side is here, this side is there, and they don't want to talk to each other. So what we need to do is we need to act as, or someone that you work with, a therapist or a counselor or, or anybody really who's willing to do it, is to help you facilitate these two parts of yourself. Now, I cannot emphasize this enough. Which side do you think we give the hardest time to? 
only enough it's not this side we are very judgmental of the defender okay the defender who is the witty the strong one the sub personalities are there the workaholic the the charmer the controlling part of ourselves we are very very critical of that side in order to bring this side in we first need to give the defender some appreciation another way of saying that is to give yourself some appreciation for how strong you've been up to this point in your life carrying an injury okay you need to say to yourself okay i've felt numb i felt horrible in my day-to-day -day life for a number of years now maybe but you know what how strong have i been how strong how incredibly strong have i been to go about day-to-day -day life with this within me okay then you can bring in the hurt side so you're appreciating the defender and you're given the injured part of yourself the the voice okay so we're going to act as an intermediary between these two voices now this is the work that we need to do it doesn't matter what you want to achieve in life what you want to do if you want to have more fulfilling relationships if you're carrying trauma this is what's going to happen if you want to do well in your work life if you are miserable you feel numb you need to work on this okay and we all need to work on this david included myself included we are all doing this almost i think everybody i would say everybody people would disagree with me on that but i would say almost all of us have this issue going on a kind of a two competing voices within ourselves that leads us to not feeling like we're normal people okay and then we medicate it and all those issues so what we need to do is start having this conversation media in this conversation within ourselves one of the practical ways you can do it is you can embrace the fact that you have these two sub personalities if you like these two parts of yourself one let's say you're doing some journaling and i would highly recommend this what does the defender want to say and on the other side of the page what does the injured part want to say and your job then when you're analyzing that is to say to yourself okay thank you you're very very strong you're going to keep us safe what do you want to say so that we don't self-sabotage so that that we actually can move forward how can we make you feel more safe to come forward and talk it can be anything especially in relationships guys this is how this plays out big time it's the hurt part of the self bringing the past into all new relationships that we have making them all the same from now on because we're in defender mode okay so last thing to say in this is in terms of a practical thing talk to someone about it set this as a goal maybe with them but by yourself if you just want to work on this by yourself for now use the journaling exercise of realizing that i have two parts to myself one is the defender one is the injured part and i'm going to try and get a dialogue going between the two parts thanks for watching a bit heavy maybe but that's the way it is that's the that's the key that's the key to this that's the work that we have ahead of us and but the goal i mean the goal is this is to feel like this again as adults okay when we have autonomy and uh what a goal that is just to feel less numb to feel more alive to feel like my god my life has meaning and purpose again that's what we're all after here so it's about inner integration that is the whole that is like the answer that isn't a gimmick okay if you've tried all the gimmicks maybe before and the quick fixes and stuff this is what we're after so practically speaking give the journaling a go and see what the dialogue is like and uh, you might be surprised about how you feel at the end because if you'd like to work with me um, you can contact me at my website drdavidmaloney.com where I do online sessions and sessions in my practice here in Ireland also um, or you can email me another way you can help is to share this with a friend of yours maybe you can like the video or subscribe and uh, if you like my content it helps me reach other people too um, reach out if you have any questions maybe leave your questions below if you like but I am very grateful for you for taking the time to watch this and uh, the point of this is that this is hugely important
because this is for our personal growth. This is for all war comes about because of this. What are our political leaders like? Everyone else, this is what's going on within them. Politicians improving the lives of children and families, helping families have more authentic, enjoyable, fulfilling relationships. So thanks again for watching guys and I will see you soon. Take care.